Zach at LFS Marine and Outdoor. One of the more common questions we get during our shrimping and crabbing season is how do I attach my lines to my pots, my lines to my buoys, or even lines together. Um, I'm going to show you some quick ways to do that. Uh, they are by no means the only ways, um, but let's go over them real quick. One that you've all seen before, I'm sure, is this nice little harness. It's got three or four legs on it. it has some nice cheap snaps on it. I don't use this item. A uh, couple reasons. First of all is quality. Second being I use these heavy Ladner traps and they don't work very well on the frames. So don't use that. A couple things on my demonstrations. All my lines I've spliced loops into them. I do prefer to do that in all my lines. We will be cover that in some future videos. Um, the other thing is I have oversized all my devices just for ease of, of seeing on the film. Um, obviously I size down a bit when I'm actually in use. So we're going to talk about a shackle. Shackle is something that everybody's seen at most hardware stores. It's got a pin with a thread, opens completely up. Uh, the benefits to this is it's probably the strongest item, it's probably the cheapest item, um, but one of the downfalls is that you do have a little more involved. You have to screw the pin in. You could lose the pin, drop the pin, and then also you need to have a pliers with you or something and give that pin a good half turn before you put it in the water because they will loosen up. Next item is the carabiner. Carabiner is a big stainless steel snap. It's got a spring latch. Um, very quick, very easy to snap things into. The one thing I will warn you is if your carabiner does not have this screw lock on it that will keep it from opening it up, again, if it does not have a screw latch, I recommend you rig it like I'm going to show you how right here. When I'm putting the line on my Ladner shrimp traps, personally the way I do it, I use a carabiner, I use a line with a loop spliced into it, I put my eye through the pot, I snap my carabiner in, and then the most important part I feel is that I make wraps around the shank of the carabiner. Put about three or four wraps in here. And basically what that does is keeps everything on. I've had these snaps open up before, being hit by boat hooks, bouncing on the pot, whatever it may be. But I do not just snap a non-locking carabiner onto a pot. Next item <clears throat> is a halibut snap. Halibut snap is a basically just a spring-loaded piece of wire. You pinch it, it snaps on. You need to, make, need to make sure that it's for the right size line that you're working with. Basically, you pinch it and you snap your line into it. Personally, I like them. They're very nice, fast to use. I don't necessarily like them down at the pot, trusting the weight on them. I do put them on my buoys. And last but not least, we have a C-Link, which is a commercial item. Again, we're using some oversized stuff today just for demonstration. What it is, it's two rings that have a kind of unique little groove in them that, that mesh together. Um, it is very important. You, you obviously need two of them, so you need a lead on the pot or one on each end of your line, however you want to put them together. So you're connecting two lengths of line together. Again, they snap in real easy. The chance of them coming undone, not real well the way they're designed. So they're pretty slick. The quickest out of all of these and very strong, very secure. So that's Zach at LFS Marine Outdoor once again. Thank you for watching. <laughs>